Hello guys, welcome back to another Leeweg filled video here, and today uh, is going to be a how to replace the charging port or display ribbon uh, or just Nexus 7 daughter board on this 2013 Nexus 7 that I've had for five years, and it's had like four screen replacements on it, but uh, well, the first screen replacement, my dad did it and he didn't know that the white things on here go up not the black ones so a pin fell out and it's always one line of one sector line of the touchscreen has just not worked so this cost 32 bucks on Amazon uh, I don't know when it was bought so yeah it's a bit it's a bit old uh, but yeah, shipping around here has been a bit iffy lately has it everywhere but uh, uh yeah whatever but the part you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver, a Phillips head zero, if I'm correct. Yep. And a plastic pry tool. I've, I've filed this one down, so it's, like, really nice. It's blurry, but yeah. So, let me get you guys just propped up over here, and we'll start. Alright, guys, hopefully you can see me. So, the first thing we're going to do is take any cases off of the tablet if you have any. So now, you know, you should be able to see the back of it, of course. I have a screen protector installed and I didn't install it very well. That's my last one, so I'm just going to roll with it. But what you need to do is you just need to pry all around. Now, if yours is, has a cracked back casing, it's not that big of a deal because, you know, it's already been taken off. And, yeah, I just realized it still has a soft touch material on it. It's going to go bad in like uh, the five more years or whatever. But what you want to do is find a place usually like uh, near the headphone jack to pry up at and uh, unleash the clips. <clears throat> and whatever, you don't need that. Just You just need a hand. I don't know, mess around and see what, what works for you. I, I I don't know what works. Well, I do know what works, but I don't know if it works for everyone. Uh, come on. My really old tool isn't really working. Um, here. I'll fast forward this part of me taking this thing off because it's a pain. So, uh, introduce the time lapse. There we go. Just gonna pry everywhere. Now get that part out of the way and. Uh, Disconnect all the pieces, but before you do that, disconnect the battery, please. You don't want to be shorting out stuff because the second you do that, uh, the mother, or the yeah, the whole, just the whole uh, tablet will not be happy with you. Be careful with this ribbon cable, because you do not want to buy another screen. So just be careful. Just like that. Push both those back down and get that guy up. Come on. And pull that extension ribbon out. Like that. Unplug the speaker and now undo the one two three four five six seven screws and then put them in your magnetic dish as you can see I'm doing it all with the screwdriver because they don't really make drill bits this small and I don't know why you would use a tool like that because it's just plastic drilling into plastic it's 
it's it's not very Oh my bad there's eight. There's one there's one screw there. Uh, but yeah. Otherwise after you take them all out, there might be one or two connectors on the bottom that you have to undo. So let's see. Let's try it out. Nope, so all that stuff is already disconnected and here is your old part. If you want to know the model number, it is the, uh, well, this is just what it says, ME571K underscore sub, revision 1.4, PCB made in China. There is the label. Hopefully it's focusing on that, or you can just get the QR code of it, but, uh, here is the new part that I need to grab. Uh, where is it? Uh -huh. Here. Need to grab the good old craftsman knife, just like that. Best knife in the world, but for utility purposes only. So, so that on the ground. Take off this black paper over the ASUS. This is how they get past copyright stuff, so don't worry, it's not on there to protect anything, just pull it off. And as you can see, this one says the same thing. ME571K underscore sub revision 1.4 PCB made in China. And uh, there is the uh detail information if it looks the same as the other one you guys probably know uh, that's that's good so yeah don't worry about the stickiness on that but yeah make sure that that all looks good none of the pins are missing on that so oh and make sure that uh you get your charger out and you make sure that uh that fits in nicely so Yep, that sure does. So, this could just be a new old stock part, or it could just be a, uh, a, a remade part, because I guess people were having issues. So, who knows? But, yeah. So, now put all the eight or one million screws back in. I don't know how many screws there are anymore. Yeah, make sure all the ribbon cables are on the top. You know, you know, so you don't smash any under the display. Because if you smash them under the display, then the display will pop up, and then you have a chance of cracking it. And honestly, you just don't want to take that chance, especially with a Nexus. The first crack you get, and it's going to be in the digitizer, and then half the screen or the whole screen, if you're unlucky, will not work. That's what happened the first time I, uh, I cracked it, but the only thing that's actually original on this, uh, on this tablet now is the motherboard. So now put in the two silver screws where the charging port is, if I can get them on my screwdriver. Ugh, I gotta shake. plug in this silver extension cable by lifting up very gently on this connector and sliding this cable in. I did see that they reversed the colors on this, on this one, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem. It should still just go down very nicely like that, so otherwise just Put the tape back on like that, and this is the part that counts. Lift those up with very tender care. And bend those into where they will fit. Come on. 
This is a bit finicky, uh, even whenever you do replace the display, but they'll go in. So as you can see, they are in. And now, just shut them. And shut that one. There will be a little bit of resistance, there should be, but as you can see, all of the pins are there in that, so there should be no more bad dead sector. Always make sure to plug in the speaker back in, because then if you don't, you're not going to have any sound at the bottom, because this tablet does have stereo speakers. And last but not least... Uh, put on your battery cable again and uh, put the that on. So I'm going to do that. Oh wait, you know what we should do first? We should test it before we put that on. So let me plug it in. over here so what we're going to do is get the charging cable and stand by pop and uh, there's the power button it should well that's yeah I think that's good it means it's trying to charge dead battery. Yeah, there we go. So, it's charging the battery, which is good. So that part of the display, or, or that part of the board works. But, yeah, I say it's safe to now put the cover on. So, uh, I'm going to do that, and uh, I'm going to clean off the display a little bit, and I'll come back a little bit when it's charged to show you guys. Uh, hopefully the finished working display. Now see that? See that chunk missing out of there? Let me see if I can one hand focus this. No. Can't seem to, but uh, if you can faintly see there is a hole with a pin knot in it, and that is <coughs> one of the, uh, probably one of the pins that controls one of the uh, sectors of the digitizer so yeah I guess we're gonna find out if the screen is good on that or if the board was bad which I'm, I'm really hoping it is because yeah, yeah you know if it still has a touch issue that's gonna have to be like that for the rest of its life but uh yeah just remember keep your old parts around because you never know when they'll come in handy, so, you know, just put it back in there, and, uh, it's still charging up, so, I'll be back whenever it gets to a reasonable level. Alright guys, so I'd say it's about half an hour later, been letting it charge. Yeah, the brake's warm, so, I guess it's been doing something, so let's see if it turns on. Granted, I haven't messed with any of the settings on this device since 2015, so there might be outdated stuff on here. But let's see if it'll boot up. Well, even after you double-checked it, you never know. Because you might have to triple-check it. So, finally booted up. And, uh, like I said, wallpaper's a bit outdated. But, uh, probably shouldn't show that. Because that's still the pin I use on my phone. But, uh, yeah. Here it is. And the problem I was having was, I couldn't sign into Twitch. And on the app, because, and you know, you need to enter your email and password. And, now you can. And there we go. We got in. So, Cool. I can now finally put in my stuff, and last but not least, let's check if uh, you could actually slide the brightness, and uh, yes, yes you can. So, 
Yeah, good job. Thirty dollar uh, little board from Amazon, but I guess really from China. Could relive the memories in here. As you can see, got some apps that just don't exist anymore. So I'm not gonna be deleting those. But you know, it's a bit slow here and there, but you know that's what makes it fun. Where is the about? There it is. And there you go. See? Yeah, I can't play that game for anything, but guess what? My tablet now works. Until next time, people.